What is up, Acosta Games here? Um, I sure hope you don't skip through this video. I hope you last through all of it. Um, I want you to know that this video is specifically for you, whoever's watching it. Um, I want you to forget about everyone else, okay? No one else exists, nothing else matters. I'm talking to you, yes, you. And I want you to know one thing out of this whole video, okay? This is my love letter to you. And I know that hopefully, hopefully by the end of this video, you can capture what I'm trying to portray out, okay? There's a lot of negativity in life. There's a lot of positivity in life. There's a lot of, you know, things that work for us that don't work for us. And there's a lot of things that simply we don't have control over. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I was able to go through a training um, a couple days ago at the gym. I did legs. And during that training, something happened within me that is very special and a lot of people don't go through this specific experience um, but I wish that everyone could because it was such a special moment for me I was working legs I was doing an exercise that lasted four minutes you're working the whole time as little um, you know rest as possible and I got to a point it was squats I was squatting and it got to a point where the pain was so much that the voice in my head was telling me to stop, to put the weight back, and to rest. Now, the reason why this experience, uh, this experience was so special to me was because I was able to tell that voice to be quiet and to let me work. Now, I call that a breakthrough. You know, there's a lot of different ways that you can call that, but I was able to break through pain in a sense and keep working now at the end of those four minutes i kid you not i started to tear up not because of the pain but because of what i was able to do if i truly put my mind to it okay now this can happen in the gym this can happen in any aspect in life there's a lot of things that, that happen to us in life that sometimes are too much to bear sometimes they're just really hard sometimes they're unfortunate situations and I'm pretty sure that you have said in your life, I can't continue, I can't go on, I can't do this anymore. But you're still here. And that's the special thing about this, is that there are so many ways in our lives that we can break through, that we can continue on, that we can move forward, that we can grow, that we can just expand ourselves, we can evolve if we allow ourselves to. Now, the only reason why I was able to do that at the gym was because I allowed myself to, and I said, no way in hell am I gonna put that weight back because I had a goal and I was determined to make that goal happen. And it's the same thing in life. There's so many negative things that happen in everyone's individual life, and there are a bunch of negative things guaranteed that have happened in your life that have molded you into the person that you've become. Whether that be in a good way, whether that be in a bad way. But if I've learned anything from my trials, from my tribulations in life, is that everything always happens for you, okay? Nothing happens to you, it happens for you. Anything that we see as a negative, any situation in our life that can be portrayed as something negative, can be always turned into a lesson. Okay, let me say that again. Anything that we can say that this was a negative, I hated this part of my life, can always be turned into a lesson. And at the end of the day, those things were not meant for you. Why? Because you were always meant to be an example in someone else's life. Okay, life is so much more than just yourself. Okay, being selfish with yourself being able to go through these experiences, being able to grow from them, going through them, but giving yourself the time to learn from it and then move on is the reason why we go through these things. Now, it starts to get dangerous when you keep holding on to the negativity in life, those experiences that just hold you back. The past should be left in the past so you can really move on and experience the future and allow people to learn from what you went through. Life isn't about you. Okay? Life is about evolving into the person 
that you can truly become the best version of yourself so that the person standing next to you can benefit from that. So that when you pass away, you leave the memory of someone that changed someone else's life. Okay? There's nothing more selfish than being in the service of others. Now, I always, always, every time I hit the gym, and this is why I personally love the gym and I love pushing myself in there, is because the whole time I'm training, I'm working towards feeling pain. I'm working towards feeling a burn that it's to a point that's unbearable because I know that's the only way that I can grow. That's the only way that I can break my muscles so that they can grow. Like that's as simple as I can put it. And it's no different in life, okay? Now, I'm not saying go look for pain. I'm not saying go look for trouble because that's not it. But I promise you that life will throw it into your life. Here's sprinkles and stuff because it's, it's a necessity. Now, if you're going through a specific something in your life right now, go through it. Feel those emotions, you know, and truly learn from them. But I promise you that everything is controlled from here and from here, okay? It's the way that we see things, it's our, pers uh, it's our perspective in life that'll let us grow and let us move on from certain things, okay? But I'm not telling you to get over these specific things quickly. Learn from them, grow from them, evolve from them. And again, I promise you that any storm that you're going through, it will pass and there will be sunshine. Just like the sun sets, you know, at night and it rises in the morning, I guarantee you, if you hold on and you stick to what you truly believe in, if you stick to wanting to be a better version of you every single day, resetting that button and going at it every single day, you will triumph and you will be successful. But more importantly, you will be an example for everyone around you. And that's the key. That's the, that's the most important thing of all this is that you can achieve greatness if you allow yourself to. But there's never been any greatness in anyone's life without trials. Name one person that has ever been super successful without trials. Guaranteed, you can't name a single person. Guaranteed. And the most successful people in life and those people that you look up to, guaranteed they went through something so crazy, sad, traumatic, and they overcame that, that they inspire you to be better. Okay, so you watching this, just feel that love in your heart. Get rid of that negativity in your mind. And I promise you that the sun will shine again. Because I can say that from personal experience, that from someone that's been in the darkest places in his life, that has uh, looked for substances, that has um, been with the worst crowds, um, that has wanted to and wanted to get rid of his life that has not been able to, that in the past wasn't able to see the positivity in life. I promise that if you just hold on, it gets better. I speak from personal experience and you mean so much to someone. And you can be such a huge example to someone. And you are. But sometimes it's really hard to see it. Sometimes it's really hard to, to truly understand it. But you watching this, just know that you're unique and there's no one else on this planet just like you. And that is the special thing that makes you so you. Never try to be like anyone else. It won't work. Just accept who you are be who you are, be the best version of who you are, and let it flow, radiate. And I promise you, everything gets so much better. Put a smile on your face and continue forward. And I hope you're having a great day. Um, share this with anyone that needs it. Again, this is personally to you, my love letter to you. Keep hustling. Acosta Gains with much love to you guys. Have a good one.